There's very few industries where you can be rich and famous. Yeah. For all the right reasons. For the right there's reason. very few, yeah. right? Yeah. Like there's kind of music, you can become rich and famous where people know you. There's acting, the same, there's sports, there's comedy. And then there's our industry, personal, mm. professional, spiritual development industry, where you can really become very well known and yeah. you can become really wealthy, you mm -hmm. know. And so that's a draw for people, especially if they can't sing, act or kick a ball, <laughs> right, or tell a joke. Then it's like, how do I get those needs met? So to, to link to that first challenge, and maybe this is the second one, and these are very inner game challenges, I think, yeah, totally. is this kind of people come to this industry oftentimes to get their needs met now, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, we, we should look to get our needs met from what we're doing, for sure. But sometimes what this industry allows us to do is to get needs met that maybe it's not healthy for those needs to be met through your work, right? So I'll give you an example. Um, early on, when I got started... The idea of having that audience smiling back at me and applauding me because of something wonderful I'd said and life changing oh, I'd oh, said. Oh, you're so funny. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. Lavish praise on me. Yeah. This industry, you can stand, you know, the last, I was on the speaking circuit quite a lot between about 2008 and 2015. And my last ever big talk was to about 800,000 people. It's where my mentor, Frank Kern, was speaking as well. And I'd kind of gotten it in check by then, but at the beginning of my speaking career, going up on stage and having people appreciate and validate me and everything mm -hmm. was fulfilling all sorts of needs in me yeah. for love, acceptance, validation, you're enough, you know, all of these things. And what I realized, this was probably in the late, in probably around 2008, eight nine. what I realized was that that wasn't healthy. Yeah. It's not... If, if more of my personal needs for love and acceptance and validation and worthiness are being met, then my audience's needs are being met. Yeah. Something's out of yeah, whack. Yeah, totally. Something is seriously out of whack there. And that's what I see because I saw it in myself, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, i got to sort this out. Yeah. Like I can't be getting up on stage so that I feel loved yeah. and adored and like, 